welcome to our channel in this session we are going to discuss about strings in java first of all what is mean by a string string is simply a sequenced collection of characters that are placed within double quotations a sequenced collection of characters that are placed in double quotations that is called a string for example welcome that is placed in double quotation this is a string and suppose good morning even though there is a space if you are placing within double quotations that is a string now the characters of the string are arranged according to the index so why here we used the term sequenced collection that is all the characters of a string are arranged according to the index values and one more thing is strings in java are not arrays suppose if you are going to c language so string is a character array but coming to java strings and arrays both are two different things now how to create a string object the most important thing is you need to create a string in your program so how to create a string object for creating string object we have three predefined classes three predefined classes are available for creating string object all the classes are available under the package java.lang what are the classes first class name is string class by using this string class we are creating a string object second class name is string buffer and third class name is string builder these are the three different types of classes for creating string objects now we will move one by one first move to string class okay so here the objects that are generated from java dot lang dot string so we are creating the string objects from the class string and whatever the string objects that are generated from this class the string objects are immutable objects the string objects are immutable what is mean by immutable the objects once created it cannot be modified once created cannot be modified such objects are called immutable objects anyway if you are creating a string object by using string class all those objects are immutable now here two ways of creating string objects from the string class what are the two ways first one Concept. using string literal process the first way is creating a string using string literal process simply string sum s1 is equal to welcome so directly we are assigning the string or else you can use uh, scanner class and sc dot next line of that is okay but here the thing is you are assigning the directly string to the string object and the second procedure is creating the string by using new operator process what is mean by this one so like object creation string is a class so string sum s2 is equal to new string of welcome so this is the another procedure here in this we are creating a string object by for 
with welcome message now i will show you one example program how to create a string now consider one class uh, demo string one this is my program name public static void main string args of now within this one create the string in two different ways string s1 is equal to directly i assign the string welcome directly i assign the string welcome this is one string s2 is equal to new string of java program in this way i am creating two strings one is string s1 another one is string s2 or else if you want you can use the scanner class also not a problem see this one import java dot util dot scanner here create an object for the scanner class scanner some sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in now system dot out dot print ln enter a string now instead of assigning the string you can read the string from the user sc dot next line of sc dot next line of okay in this way you can read the create the string object in two different ways now i am printing the value system dot out dot print ln directly i am printing the values s1 and s2 s1 and s2 close this main close save this program with demo string one dot java demo string one dot java now go to the command prompt execute java c space demo string one dot java check any errors are there if there is no errors fine so see java space demo string one first enter a string suppose the string is welcome see this one the first string is welcome second string is java program remember here also instead of writing java program you can write sc dot next line off okay at any way you can use at any position this is the way to create the string object in two different approaches now i will explain some methods that are available so first the basic method is length of length of is the method which is used to find out the length of a string length of a string in the sense the number of characters in the string so int some len is equal to str dot length of on a particular string we are calculating the length it returns one integer value length one integer value length now one more method is char et of char et of this method is used to retrieve a character to retrieve a character from the string based on index simply if you are given an index it retrieves the character at the particular index so str dot char et of the parameter is index now what it returns it returns one character now one more important method is two string method two string method so what is the purpose up to now i created the string object s1 and s2 here i am directly printing the value but those are not the variables those are not the data those are objects even though you are given objects how the data is printed remember to string it is a predefined method it is a predefined method 
which is used to display the data from the object to string is used to display the data from the object and this to string method is auto executable method here you no need to attach to the string so even though you are writing no problem automatically for every string object to string method is attached in it executed automatically when whenever we are displaying the object variables whenever we are displaying the object variables the to string method is executed automatically now i am printing the strings string 1 is plus here you are writing s1 automatically what happen for s1 dot to string is attached automatically even though if you want you can write this one if you are not interested you can directly use this one but to prefer the good choice is write to string method now the length of a string length of string 1 is plus s1 dot length of if you want length of string 2 you can write s2 dot length of now the character character at position suppose 2 is you can give any position not a problem character at position number 2 is s1 dot char at of position number 2 so execute so the first string is welcome See this one. The string one is welcome. Java program is into length of string one is seven. The character at position two is one. Sorry, L zero one two at position two L. So this is the these are some of the methods. Length of character at two string. Now some more methods are there. And along with some more methods, what is the difference between? the two different ways of string creation so here you are creating the string by using string literal and you are creating the string by using new operator what is the difference among those two and the different methods that are available in the string we will discuss in the next session thank you